So last time I met you was actually for Definitely Maybe. Oh, wow. And you were talking about, I think you collected elephants or something? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I used to. A oh, lo- boy. Yeah. A lot of things have changed since then, obviously. Yeah, I saw my elephant collection, but I just, I haven't added to it in a long time. So being in this movie and a part of like this really dysfunctional family, mm-hmm. did it make you appreciate your own family even more, you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that you always think that like, you know, like, oh my God, my family is crazy. But then you see something like this and you're like, oh my God, my family is actually really normal. So, um, but yeah, it's, um, but I think that every family has a bit of dysfunction and every family has a bit of weirdness in them. So this is kind of just the extreme end of that. Do you feel like you're at the age now when you're like, okay, she was right. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, there are definitely times. I mean, my mom and I are really close, so, like, we definitely talk about everything, and usually she ends up being right about everything. So So I think there's a lot of headings everywhere now. It's like, look at Abigail, she's grown up. (laughs) (laughs) What do you feel about that? Is it hard for you to, like, grow up in the the public eye and everyone's so interested in you? Um, You know what? I don't really pay too much attention to it. I think that it's funny because my friends and I always joke that it's, like, Every headline since I was 14, every single time I go out in public, people are like, Abigail Breslin, she's all grown up for like the past three years. Um, So it's kind of funny. It doesn't bother me, but um, I just think that it's funny. But you recently did a a photo shoot, which was much more grown up. Did you do that to like show, okay, enough is enough. This is me now. Now I'm a grown up. Or was there any... I didn't do it to show anybody anything. I just kind of wanted to... Um, work with Tyler Shields, who's the photographer, and I've worked with him a lot before, and he's a really good friend of mine, and I think that he's an awesome photographer. So that's kind of why I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it. I didn't, like, have any, like, oh, I'm going to show the world I'm growing up now. That wasn't really the thought process behind it. I just wanted to work with him. But growing up in this industry, it's, it's kind of tough. I mean, do you, how do you kind of keep your head on your shoulders and not get carried away? Um, well, I mean, I live in New York, so I kind of, it's a little bit more low-key, and I, I just live with my family, and my, you know, I hang out with my friends, and I, I just kind of focus more on just making movies, and I don't really pay attention to the other, you know, press side of things. I... But you're kind of active on Twitter and stuff, aren't you? Yeah. Do you like that, being able to express <clears throat> yourself? Yeah, but I tweet more just about, like, life in general. I don't really tweet about my movies um, that often. So I kind of just tweet about, like, you know, Christmas and, like, cats and, like, you know, (laughs) stuff like that. And I don't really tweet about, and, like, Starbucks drinks. And I don't tweet about anything, like, too deep. So, um, yeah, I just have fun with it. And I love talking to, like, my followers on Twitter are really, actually, really cool people. And they tweet me a lot of really funny stuff sometimes. So I love talking to them on there. So you think that's a good tool now for people like your age and your generation, you have to grow up on online and being mm-hmm. a part of social media. Is that, a, is that a good thing, you think? Yeah, I think that it's awesome. You know, you get to see a lot of different things. And, you know, I love, like, I love my Twitter because, like, I'll go on there when I'm having, like, really bad days. And my followers are just really, like, supportive and, like, really nice people. And so I'm really lucky about that. And, um... Yeah, I think that it is a good thing. I think that it's just one of those things where you have to always make sure that, like, before you send a tweet, you're like, am I comfortable with the entire world reading this? Yeah. And if you're not, then you should probably second guess mm-hmm. if you want to send it out or not. Because once it's out on the internet, it's kind of like there's no going back. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you must get not-so-positive comments, too. You know, everyone has to deal with that when they put themselves out there. Are you, like... Do you deal with that in a good way? Is it hard? Uh, you know, not everybody's going to love you, and not everybody's going to love everything that you do or everything that you say. Yeah, you just, I feel like you just can't really pay too much attention to things that people say, because if you do and you take everybody's opinion into consideration, whether it's a good opinion or a bad opinion, then it's just going to, you're not going to even be able to think objectively. So a lot of young, like, child actors and, and pop stars are going through a very rebellious phase. What do you think about that? Is that something you, that you think about a lot, like Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber are doing now and getting a lot of attention? Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I don't really like to talk about other people too much. I kind of just like, I'm not like a really rebellious person. The most rebellious thing that I'll do is like go to Starbucks twice in a day <laughs> or like get a grande like pumpkin spice latte occasionally, but that's like a, on a really rare occasion. So I'm not like too rebellious of a person. I don't really care. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. You're great in the movie, my Thank you. Oh, thank you.